Hello and welcome to this Crazy Talk 7 video tutorial where we're going to show you how to render and export your animations as either image or video files. So once you have your animation project ready, simply go up to the top toolbar and click on the export function on the right side. Inside we have two options, video and image. If I choose image, I can choose up to four different formats, BMP, JPEG, Targa, or PNG files. Likewise, I can choose to export one single frame of my animation, or I can choose to export as a sequence of images. I can also choose the quality of my animation and the frame size, which I can choose from a predetermined selection here, or I can manually input the size. I can also choose the frame rate, which goes all the way up to 30. So remember, the higher the number, the higher the quality of the animation. In the end, I can choose if I wish to export all or export the entire range of my animation or if I wish to only export a specific time frame which I can manually key in or I can set by grabbing one of these red triangles. These are markers, okay? And I can drag these to specify that time range I wish to export. Great. If I choose to export my animations as a sequence, you will see something like this. You will see my entire animation being displayed in a series of images. This is very important. So for example, um, if I have a viewer and I scroll down, you can see my animation being played one frame at a time. So this is very useful if you want to create illustrations, high quality, high resolution image outputs of that animation in single frames. You can use these for illustrations, for web pages, or even creating a review of the software. Likewise, in Crazy Talk, I have the ability of choosing to replace that background image with a solid color. I can replace it with a solid color, or I can choose to export without a background. So for example, if I have a project that has no background, then I can export this as a Targa file or a PNG file. This is because Targa and PNG already have alpha channels. So I can choose a specific frame or a sequence of frames and I can export this. Okay, and I can save it. Later on, I can open, um, I can use this file, let's say in a presentation where the file is already cut out. I can also use it in Photoshop or any other type of software. There is another way to do image compositing as I can actually replace the background of my image. And this is very simple. I simply need to go into the toolbar and I can import an image. Here I have an image that I created in, a, in an image editor. Just a, a green background. And I will scale my cat and I will move him right there. Okay, so I can export this as a very high quality single image and I can import this into let's say Photoshop and I can do image compositing. I can remove that background and then I can composite this image with other layers. Likewise, I can do the same for video. So if I go out to export and I can choose video, I have different codecs inside for that video. Remember, since we're inside of a Mac environment, then these codecs are Mac friendly. So I choose the quality of my video along with the frame size which can export in HD, I can also export for an iPad or an iPhone or even a widescreen. I can choose also the frame rate and again I can specify that range that I want to export. So if I choose to export my animation with this green screen this is very useful and again this is for video compositing. So I can bring this into a software like iMovie okay and I have the animation of my cat here Okay, so I can select my entire animation and I have an option here. So if I drag this and I drop it on top, I will be prompted by a little menu. And I can choose if I want to key this video as a, with a green screen or a blue screen. So I will choose green screen. And on the right, you will see that this software already chroma keyed my background out. So I can adjust the video right here, video adjustments. 
play with the saturation a bit. Done. And now, I can... I just composited my video on top of another background. Dear Diary, Day 784 of my capture. Wow. Okay. So that's how easy it is to export your animations in Crazy Talk 7. Thank you.